Hello everybody, it's the competition and thank you all for waiting. Sorry I had to delay this by an hour because uh, Finney has chicken pox and he just woke up and he was crying for his mummy and I had to go and feed him. Um, yes, his nap happened earlier and now his dad is just looking after him. So thank you all for waiting. Um, there's uh, some comments. Uh, come come in already about the delay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so yeah, we think it's chicken pox. He uh, is being really uncharacteristic. So usually he is, I don't know if you saw in the patrons Facebook group, I posted some um, videos of him. He's usually really, really active. So he's always, he doesn't sit on me for more than like a few minutes or, or feeding. Um, so it's really, really unusual for this to happen this morning. He just lay on me whilst I put some things in the patron Facebook group. So um, yeah, so he, he actually fell asleep not long after taking that photo. Um, and I popped him down in his cot and yeah, and now he's woken up and he's he's just having Calpol and we've got some stuff to like rub on his little um, little spots that are coming. And you, you can like literally see the spots coming. Every hour there's new spots everywhere. So. I hope he doesn't get it like me. My mum said that I got it spots on my spots and I got them literally everywhere. So he it doesn't bode well. <laughs> his genetics um, are not in his favour. But anyway, I'm here to do the competition. Um, I'll try and make it short um, this week so that I can get back to him. Um, but yes, uh, uh, update on me. I've had two months off now. So October is going to be my final month off. Um, so I'll be back. Um, I'll be putting out one film a week. I'm just gathering them now, um, getting them edited. Uh, so I'm just doing that now so that I can put out one film a week or do one live broadcast or do one competition broadcast per week um, just while I get back into the swing of things. Um, Finney is, well, he was supposed to start nursery on Tuesday next week. I don't think that's going to happen somehow, um, but he is starting nursery in October. So um, by November, he'll be in nursery for two half days a week. So I will get probably a total of two or three days to work um, during the week. So I hope hopefully that will be fine I can I can start doing wild ginger running properly again so thank you all so much for continuing to support me so the competition uh, how it works is if you're a patron you get automatic entry into the competition if you're not a patron go to www.patron.com slash wild ginger running and see all the perks that you can get for being a patron including um, loads of discounts on on stuff if you are a patron you don't know how to access them just go on the website and access the patron only area and type in your email address that you signed up to patron for and you'll be able to access that area and you get um, to see the exclusive content and you get to see the um, all the discounts that I've got like like um, there's discounts with Innovate and various nutrition companies, Active Root, um, that kind of thing. If any of them don't work, then let me know in the Facebook group um, and I can chase those up. Okay, so um, thanks very much to new patrons uh, this month. Um, we've got uh, Andy Coggill and also thank you very much to Alan Pearson who upped his pledge um, to um, the tier where you get a buff. So um, certain tiers get different kind of perks. So there's a tier, if you have a look on, on patreon.com slash wild ginger running, you get a buff for three months loyalty at a certain tier. Um, if you don't want to do that tier, no problems. You can buy a buff on my online shop, which is wildgingerrunning.co.uk slash shop. You can get one of these buffs, like so. Um, I've got a book as well. There you go, if you want to find out more about trail running, basically this is what I go on about on my channel all the time. Um, just everything is everything that's on the channel is distilled into this one handy book. Uh, training plans, um, injury exercises, prevent injury, um, uh, loads of pictures, loads of inspiration, great races to do, um, nutrition advice, recipes, that kind of thing. Loads and loads of stuff, gear advice, everything like that in the book. So that is that. Um, and yes, oh, talking about the buffs, uh, next month, uh, yeah, no, it, Alan Pearson will be getting a buff next month. This month, um, buffs, I've literally just posted a buff to Ewa Perljuska, and I need an address for David Pollard. So if you're watching David, please uh, put your address on Patreon so I can send you one of these. Um, right, okay. 
Oh, with the competition. What have we got in the competition for September? September, we have the Silver Cross Trail for Ultra. Super, super bright running head torch. I do not know what my fringe is doing under here. Let's just tuck it under there. Oh, and this side as well. I just have... I cut myself a fringe in, in lockdown and didn't go too well, so I've had to hide it with headphones. <laughs> okay, so Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra Super Super Bright Head Torch. Um, every single month we get one of these. It's worth 160 quid. Thank you so much to Silver for providing us with these amazing head torches. Um, they have um, a large battery pack, so they last for a long time on, um, on a high level of lumens. I think it's a 750 lumen head torch, which is plenty for trial running. You look like a car headlight as you go down the hill. Um, but you actually, you put the battery pack into your backpack via an extension cable. So that's why on that picture there, you can't see a battery on there. Um, so yeah, super, super bright head torch, very light on the head, battery in the backpack. It's the way forward. Right, then the next prize is the Morton Nutrition Gift Box. So this is the nutrition that's used by um, oh, all the top athletes, like Elliot Kipchoge uses it, um, Killian Jornet uses it. It's used by the top athletes. It doesn't taste super sweet. It's one of the only gels that I can actually stomach. The consistency is like... Uh, but it tastes much better. Um, then we have, we've got loads of prizes this month. It was really good for prizes. We've got six different prizes to give away. We've got some darn tough socks here. Um, so I've been wearing these. Uh, I've been, um, yeah, they've sent me some really short ones, um, which I don't actually wear for trail running. Um, I wear them for general walking around and they're really, really comfy and nice. Um, and then the longer ones, um, that they sent me, I have been using those for trail running and they're, they're really, really nice. So, um, somebody will win 50 pounds worth of darn tough socks. Then, then we've got more socks. Um, we've got some thousand mile socks. So these are the socks that you can walk or run <laughs> literally a thousand miles in before um, you before they all conk out um, and you shouldn't get any blisters in them as well. So there's 52 pounds worth of these socks um, up for grabs in this competition. Then we have uh, Active Root. Active Root have given us loads of goodies recently. Um, Active Root are really cool because they uh, do very eco-friendly options. They do big, big tubs of um, of their nutrition. It's all based around ginger, so it settles your stomach. And obviously, I'm a big fan of everything ginger. Um, so they have given us a goodie bag worth fifty pounds. Oh, I've just made that go away. Put you up. Uh, so that is from Active Root. Uh, I don't know if I can make that go. Oh, make it go small. There we go. There's, they do lots of different things. They do uh, a peppermint version, a green tea version, a normal ginger version. Everything's based on ginger. And they do a gel mix so you can mix your own gel, which is really cool as well. Um, I did a review on it um, a few months ago. So Google Wild Ginger Running Active Root and um, everything I've done on Active Root will come up. Then the final prize is really exciting. Joss Naylor, super legendary fell runner from the Lake District, from good old Cumbria. He has written a book called The Lakes and Mears and Waters. So this is a route. It's, it's sort of designed to take the pressure off the Bob Graham round because the Bob Graham round's got so famous now. Everybody wants to do it. So this is a 105 mile route around the Lake District. It takes in the lakes, obviously, and the mears and the waters. So that's basically all the water in the Lake District. Um, and it's, it's a, oh, I've got one here. It's an absolutely beautiful book. Um, let me just show you. Um, like that photo is beautiful in itself, but it's it's an absolutely stunning book. It's it's about Joss Naylor and it's about the route that he did. So it's got, got tons of old photographs of him in there. Um, there's there's the route as well. So I think it'd be a really nice route to do over like say four or five days or a week or something like that. Like I might have to add it to my to do list because look at those look at those pictures. It looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? And it, it tells you about his journey on that route when he did it and he set a record for it. And I think it would be nice if, if some people, you know, went and, and did that route and started a bit of a record going on that route to just take the pressure off um, the more popular ways. So, um, so yeah, thank you very much to um, uh, Cicerone for letting me have um, a copy of that to give away in this competition. Right, okay, so should we get the ball rolling and spin the dice and see who's won? 
let's do a few shout outs first. If you want me to shout out something, um, then write it now. I'll just read out a couple of comments. Um, uh, Ruth says, poor little guy about Finley. Hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> be awful if we all had chicken pox. Yep. Um, yeah, he, he'll be all right. Bless him. Just might be in for a, a rough few days. Um, so who else? Uh, Hannah says, poor boy. Hope, hope it's not a bad bout. Yeah, poor Finn. Trail Emmy says, hope we don't get too sleep revived. I know, we were just getting towards like one feed a night and then sometimes sleeping through and then ah, it's just the way it goes with babies, hey. Di Wilson says hi as well. Um, John Airy has decided, uh, oh yeah, Lake, Lake Mears and Waters. Uh, the only lake is Bass and Thwaite. Yes, that's correct, John. The only actual lake in the Lake District is well, Bath and Thwaite Lake, as you say there. Um, so it should say only lake singular, mirrors and waters plural. Yes. Well, should you win, John, I think you should take a big marker pen and uh, and scrub that S off the lake <laughs> and write a strongly worded email to Joss. Okay, so let's spin the wheel and see who has won this month's prizes. Okay. Right. Going round and round and round. It is, the first winner is the Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra Head Torch goes to Becky McCoy. Well done, Becky. That will be winging its way to you very shortly. Congratulations on winning that prize. And the next one, I'm gonna uh, whisk through these today so I can get back to Finney. Bing, okay, so the Morton Nutrition. Okay, it's stopping on Duncan Reed. So Duncan, congratulations, you've won the Morton goodie bag packed full of um, gels and drink mixes to fuel your running. Fantastic, well done Duncan. And then we've got the Darn Tough Socks up for grabs. Okay, all right. That is going to be Ab Abazir Nazir. And you have won 50 pounds worth of darn tough socks. They're so tough. You will have a great time running in those. No blisters. Should we do the next sock ones? The next sock ones are the 1,000 mile reprieve socks. Um, absolutely fantastic blister preventing socks. So let's see who's won these. Okay, it's, oh, it's John Gardner. John is, John is the original patron. He is the first person to patron me. So I'm super pleased that you've won something. I think he's won another thing ages ago. Uh, you'll have to let me know, John, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, he, over in the United States, um, that's John. He's won the 1,000 mile reprieve socks. That will be fantastic for all your winter running. Um, then we've got the active route. Uh, let's see who's won that. Active Root Goodie Bag. Uh, hopefully this person's a big fan of ginger. It's Debbie Hall. Hopefully you like ginger stuff, Debbie, because you've got 50 pounds worth of Active Root Nutrition winging its way to you shortly. And then finally, the Joss book. Who is going to win this amazingly beautiful, beautifully illustrated, beautifully inspiring Joss and Naylor book? Okay. It's gonna be Conrad, Conrad Anderson. Congratulations, you have won Joss Naylor's Lake or Lakes, Mears and Waters book of the Lake District. Um, so congratulations to all the winners. Um, as usual, we won't say who the winners are. We'll make them watch this entire thing to find out if they've won or not. I don't know if any of the winners were watching. If you are a winner and you're watching, then do type a comment in the, um, in the live comments. Um, or below, if you're watching, this um, later on, not live, then just write congrats to the winners so that they don't know who has won. They have to watch the entire thing and become very excited. Okay, so October. October, we have prizes totaling £445. Woo! Let's get rid of all of these and let's see what is up for grabs next month. It is October. It's October the 1st. How on earth is it October the 1st? Right. So again, we have the amazing, the incredible, the Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra Head Torch. There we go. Absolutely amazing, super bright head torch. And don't we just need a head torch now that it's coming into the horrible, rainy, dark winter nights. 
Okay, then we've got the Morton gift box again, £60 worth of nutrition goodies there. We've got £50 worth of goodies from Active Root again there. Absolutely brilliant prize from the eco friendly and ginger friendly Active Root. Then we have got a a new entry. We've got, um, this is, a, an, I don't know this brand, um, I just heard of them. It's called Showers Pass and they do a jacket, a waterproof jacket worth £175 and it's called the Cloud Burst Jacket. So there you go. It's their flagship jacket. It's completely waterproof. Um, it's a, a design for running, freedom of movement, a velcro cuffed, waterproof zip and um, a nice a flocked um, a soft area around the collar um, and there's there is a hood as well but it's not in that version there's women's versions there and women's and men's um nice and reflective and bright for winter so um i've put them in orange for the women's and the gray for the men's here but they both come in both colors for both genders so um so that's the showers pass cloud burst jacket just there so we'll add them to the broadcast just here Maybe we'll just add one. Let's just do this one. We'll put that there. And we'll put that down there. Active root. Okay. These are the prizes. So if you want to get involved with the competition on Wild Ginger Running, then you know what you gotta do? You gotta become a patron. Patrons get automatic entry into this competition. It's worth 400 pounds or more every single month. So if you fancy supporting me, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to all my supporters, especially the ones that have stuck with me through these three months of maternity leave. I've got one more month to go, the whole of October. I'm just gonna do the competition. And then starting from November, there'll be one film per week. So I'm starting to stockpile them now. Um, so yeah, didn't really have proper time off but had a little bit of time off so thank you very very much for that um i hope your running's going really well um somebody said maybe i should do a blog about getting back to running um as a person with a baby um okay vlog entry number one it's very hit and miss <laughs> sometimes you can go sometimes you can't sometimes you're so sleep derived that you don't want to go um but it is possible if you really really want to um <laughs> and as long as your pelvic floor is okay so yes uh so yeah i'll i am doing i am vlogging about coming back to running and i'll put it together in a big thing later in the year um but if anybody does want any advice or just is interested in coming back to running after having a baby or fitting it in around kids then do just drop me a line on patreon um or in the Patreon Facebook group, and I'll be happy to um, answer any questions. Um, if you've got any training questions, any patrons with training questions, then do let me know. Like, I'm still here. I still get the patron um, messages. They come through, and I answer them as a priority. So uh, please don't feel like I have abandoned you um, during this time. I'm still very much able to message you back, especially while Finley's feeding. I can do a few bits online. Um, so let's just read out a few comments from everybody um, just before I go. So Mark England says, congratulations. Congratulations everyone. Hello Mark, hope you're doing well. Um, Robin Townsend says howdy. Hey Robin, hope you're alright. Um, Robin won something recent recently I think. Um, Di says congratulations to all and he says stay safe and he hopes Finn gets better soon. And now he's going on a train. Oh how exciting. Hope you're going somewhere nice. Yeah, hope you're going somewhere nice this weekend everyone. Um, if you want to um, write a comment below about what you're doing this weekend then that would be super fun. I need to live vicariously through all you lot now. Um, I was meant to do my training camp tomorrow, but um, Finney's got chicken pox, so now I must stay at home with him. So I'm going to do a couple of bits tomorrow via Zoom for the training camp. Um, but apart from that, I think I'll just be in the house with Finney, <laughs> making sure he doesn't have too bad an experience of chicken pox. Um, so yes, it is a very fun. He's a really cool little chap. I really like him. Um, hopefully some of you will meet him someday too. Um, so yeah, everything's going really well, apart from the whole child illnesses thing. And I will be back uh, next month with the October competition. And then I'll be doing uh, one film a week from November. So join me if you can. See you guys. Bye.